Hyperinflation is back in Pet Simulator 99, but this time it's for a whole new reason. Today, we're going to do a deep dive into what that reason is and how this could affect the future of the game as a whole. And if you didn't go ahead and watch my last video, I would make sure you go back and watch it because a lot of the stuff we're going to talk about in this video relates heavily to the ideas that I was giving in that video. And if you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. We cover all sorts of Pet Simulator 99 stuff here on the channel, so this is the place to be to learn all things about Pet Sim. Let's get right into it though, because this could have a huge effect on the game. All right, you guys, so to start off, we have seen inflation take over once again. We are finally beginning to see the prices of huges and other exclusive eggs beginning to bounce back in price. With the wrap value of the huge happy computer bouncing back almost 2 million diamonds in the matter of just under 24 hours, I believe. So it does seem like that little deflation period that we were seeing is now over and people are beginning to spend their diamonds once again. But of course, we are getting an update coming on Saturday morning, so we could possibly see another little deflation period before then. Because as many of you guys do know, before updates, a lot of people do try to sell off their cheap huges and exclusive eggs, stuff like that, so that they can get enough diamonds to buy whatever new content is really coming in this update. Now, there are a couple reasons on why I don't think this is going to happen this time around, but obviously anything can happen. I'm not making a prediction for the future. I'm just going to tell you the facts on why I think this isn't going to happen. But the first of those reasons is the fact that big games did tweet out after my last video saying that they are focusing on performance for this update now if you were one of the people that did watch my last video i did talk about how performance was a big issue that we do have in the game but my interpretation of why they tweeted this out seems to me like they actually don't have that much planned for this update and they're trying to lower people's expectations by telling them that this update is basically just going to be for performance and that's why the content that's going to be in it is just not going to be good enough. Now obviously this is just my interpretation. You guys can interpret it any way you want. But for this reason I don't think we're going to see another deflation period because people are not going to be expecting to get any new content in this update that they really need to be hoarding diamonds for. So there is no reason for them to do that little sell off that usually happens around the update day to get more diamonds but that's not even the main reason why i don't think we're going to see another deflation period uh, before this update and this reason is actually why i think we're going to be seeing hyperinflation and that reason is because there have been a lot of rumors going around in the community that the balloon exploiters are back now if you do not know what the balloon exploiters were Basically, a few updates ago, there was a huge exploit that hackers were able to basically go around with their slingshots and shoot down all of these large gift bags that are sitting around the map on these balloons. And they could basically pick up tons and tons of these large gift bags for absolutely free. And they could basically automate this to where they would just teleport around the map and then harvest the little gift that you get. So it was basically just free diamonds for the cheaters. And this issue was so bad because when you open these large and small gift bags that you get from the balloons, those actually give you a lot of diamonds. So that was pumping a ton of diamonds into the economy, which was basically pushing inflation pretty hard at the time that these exploiters were in their prime. And if you were around at that time, a ton of people actually got falsely banned because they were doing a major ban wave and trying to get rid of all of those gift bags that the exploiters had used. Now, I'm not sure if this was ever confirmed, but the rumor going around was that if you had sent large or small gift bags through the mailbox system, that was the way that people were getting banned because I guess the bots were using the mailbox to transfer all of those exploited gift bags and such to their alts. So Big Games pretty much did a blanket ban on everybody who sent stuff through the mailbox. But it did seem like everybody that did get falsely banned through that method did get unbanned. So of course that is good news. And then honestly news about this exploit going on went really quiet in the community. 
So I'm sure a lot of people assumed that this exploit was pretty much patched and nobody was doing it, but over the last few days, it seems like people have found a way to do it once again, because if you go into the trading plaza, you can find a boost with people selling like hundreds of thousands of these things at a time in bulk for cheap prices. Now, obviously, there are a ton of ways to get these gift bags. So technically, this is not actually proof that this exploit was happening once again. But it does seem like today we got some actual proof that this does exist once again. Because one of the pet sim community members by the name of Cassie, who got banned for encouraging people to exploit has come out with a series of tweets basically showing how this has not been patched and that people can do it and she's also pretty much showing people how they can do it and get away with it now obviously i don't want to promote exploiting so i'm not going to show these screenshots on the screen but she basically goes into detail about how to bypass the system that big games put in place so that people no longer do this. She also has been posting whenever she finds some other exploits about various things in the game. Like today, she also tweeted out that she found a way to basically exploit the ranking up system and she can rank up accounts in record time. So I'm not sure if any of this is real. Obviously, she has some bias as she did get banned by big games. So she's trying to prove a point about how faulty their systems are and how she never got rewarded for reporting these various exploits that she found in the game. But now she's kind of doing it on the other side since they already banned her anyways. But the moral of the story is that these exploiters are able to still do this method and pump tons of diamonds into the economy. And honestly, it seems like that has already been happening for the past week or so. And it definitely could be what is contributing to that massive inflation that we saw in the past few weeks. But the fact that exploiters are going to be able to basically farm tons and tons of these absolute free diamonds, along with the fact that Big Games does not seem to be planning much content for this update, which is why I think we will be seeing some hyperinflation begin in this new update because players are not going to have anything to actually spend these diamonds on and we are getting tons of diamonds pumped into the economy by exploiters once again. Now, if the exploit really is back and these cheaters are able to pump billions of diamonds back into the economy, then we are definitely going to see some inflation. So for those reasons, I would be advising you guys, and this is actually what I'm going to be doing, is that you should be spending your diamonds on things that are going to hold value pretty well over time. The reason you do this during inflation periods is because the value of those diamonds that you are holding are losing value over time. So basically, it's going to cost more to buy a huge in general over time once inflation takes place because that currency is worth less. So that's why holding assets is a good idea during periods like this. Now, personally, one of the safest investments that I like to hold personally are just the most common huges. So the huge happy computer, the huge happy rock are usually pretty safe bets because they are kind of generally predictable with these periods of inflation and deflation. So if I do want to hold my diamonds in something long term, I most likely will be spending the rest of my diamonds on all of these cheap huges and just stacking them up for the time being. And of course, flipping is still always a good thing. You don't necessarily have to just hold on to something that holds value. You can actively be trading and flipping stuff that is always good as well. The main idea is that you just don't want to be holding diamonds because when you go to sleep, on average, by the time you wake up, prices will be higher. And that's why you want to be holding on to items and not diamonds in this case. And honestly, that's why I like to hold on to these cheap huges as well, because they are very good for flipping. It's definitely a lot harder now that there is that 1% tax to flip this kind of stuff. But if you do it through trades or hold on long enough and find the right deals, then you can still make a decent profit flipping huges. And another good value holder would be the exclusive eggs. Uh, especially the sketch egg would probably be a good decision to buy around now because I think we are expecting to get at least a new exclusive egg in this update but I don't think we've gotten a leak. I have seen a leak about a new egg, but I wasn't exactly sure if it was an exclusive egg. But buying these exclusive eggs during times of inflation are very good value holders as well. 
though just something else to mention. And of course, we are expecting a few exclusive enchants to leave the exclusive shop in this update. Those being the Super Magnet, the Boss Chest Mimic, and the Boss Lucky Block. But of course, we haven't seen any new leaks about exclusive enchants. So it's kind of hard to buy these and predict that we are going to see new ones in this new update on Saturday. But if these do end up leaving the shop, the Super Magnet in particular will probably go up a lot in price. So I personally am holding on to a few of these. But of course, I'm speculating on whether or not these are going to leave the shop. And of course, that was another long day of yapping about absolutely nothing. So if you enjoyed that, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. If the rumors are true about these exploiters being back with the balloons, then we probably will see some crazy inflation in this new update as there won't be really anything for people to be spending their diamonds on. So there's going to be no diamond sinks in the economy. So of course, inflation will probably take over once again. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.